Hey guys, haven't been on in a little while. Been kind of busy and also went on a trip to uh, meet our granddaughter. She's four months old for the very first time. We were supposed to fly out when she was born, but you know, this whole COVID thing. So anyways, that was, that was really fun. And while we were out there, um, I didn't get a chance to film it, but I ended up making a bunch of these, um, let me make sure I don't have any stuff in my hands, these rounds with resin. And we did her beautiful little footprint with um, baby friendly ink. And then I sprayed it with a little clear coat and uh, we did all this lettering, my daughter and I, with her Cricut and um, brought him back home to Florida, did the final coat of resin on and shipped out all the ones that need to be shipped out. So that's exciting. That was a lot of fun. Um, also worked on a couple of other things, started them off camera. Sorry about that. Um, this one I'm making for one of my best friends at work. Um, she loves flowers, lavender fields in specific. So I got some dried lavender and then all the other stuff that's in there, um, I actually dried myself. So this is actually already four layer, three layers. This will be the fourth layer. Uh, it's been clear up until then, uh, this point. Um, and now I'm just adding a little, let me get those top bubbles off, adding a little bit of iridescent, um, glitter in there just to give it a little sparkle for this next layer um, and then the layer after that and after that I'm just going to keep increasing the amount of glitter that I put into the resin um, and then the base I'm going to do like a full-on glitter base so I'm doing such little layers for one you're not supposed to do uh, you know much more than a quarter inch thick but for two because the flowers have all kinds of little crevices and knickknacks, not knickknacks, nooks and crannies in there. And um, I don't want a ton of air bubbles. A little bit's fine. And then you can't get in there too much with this uh, heat gun because you'll burn the flowers. Although the lavender smells amazing when it gets heated up. So that's that. I'll do, it looks like I have about three more layers to go after that. Uh, my next one is, this is for my sister-in-law. I'm doing a little diamond, kind of like this. This was my very first one, a little fail because I overfilled the mold right here. But um, this I just did with my leftover resins, um, which these are gonna be amazing to do with. But so on this one, I have this part right here is completely clear with no glitter. And then I have a little white daisy um, facing down. So just like this one. And then um, her favorite colors are teal and coral. So I did this little thin layer. You can see it's kind of thin, quarter inch or less um, on there. And then this middle portion, so I'm gonna add more glitter to this and I'm gonna do a glitter layer, like a clear glitter layer. And um, let that dry. Then um, add in on the next layer, you know, do like that quarter inch or less of coral. Um, and then on my final top right here, I'll do clear with the flower. What's up, boy? I'll get this in here, let it dry. The resin I'm using this time is Art and Glow Casting and Coating Epoxy Resin. So far, it's my favorite out of the three that I've used. First, I used Amazing Clear Cast. That's the stuff that you can get like from Michaels, Joanne Fabrics, etc. cetera. Um, that one was pretty decent. The second one that I used was Naked Fusion Diamond Clarity. It was amazing for a top coat, but you have to stir it forever and ever. Um, and it was really thick. Heating it up a lot was a must. Um, just a lot of bubbles, wasn't a big fan. Um, 
this art and glow that I got it's kind of a good mixture in between the two it's really good for um, top coats it's also pretty decent for these little casting molds um, you it is kind of thick so you do have to heat it up a lot but once you get it heated up the stir time truly is three to five minutes as opposed to the other one which was no lie, about 10 minutes, super slow-mo with the Naked Fusion Diamond Clarity. I'm gonna move this off to the side so I don't make a big boo-boo. All right, um, so this one. If you saw the video I did um, a little while back, oh, got some sparkle there, I'm gonna get some tape to get that off. I did a travel stone with um, my brother's ashes. It turned out beautiful. I love it. Um, it's perfect like to take with you and put on your nightstand or a little table or whatnot, but obviously too big to put in a pocket um, or in a little uh, you know, zipper of your purse. So I'm doing these. I found this mold at... Um, Michael's in the baking section, like where the chocolate molds are. Um, I think these are gonna be perfect. I did also make these, which they turned out quite nice. I do have to um, do a little bit of um, work. Whoop. The, let's see if I can get it here. the end right here that was sticking up in the mold. Um, I should have kind of overfilled the mold a little bit, but I'm really new to that kind of mold. I'll show you what it is, um, but no big deal. I'll just uh, sand off the rough parts and then I have a beautiful little lip to hold the resin in. But these are kind of pocket sized pieces. These are also done with my little brother's ashes. Um, you know, we love the beach. We're here in Florida, grew up there tons of memories so um, definitely want to keep with the beach theme with this so um, I have these different kind of crystal shapes and then I also have kind of these diamond they're really neat um, might be beautiful made into a pendant or whatnot for um, some of us and I also had these cute little Pieces. I don't really know what the shape would be, but it looks really neat. And you look at the top being smooth and you do it around like that and it actually looks like you can, you're underwater and you can see the rays of sunlight. Um, so I'm really excited about those. Um, but these are gonna be, I think the perfect in between where it's not too small where you're gonna lose it. Um, but big enough to where, you know, small enough you can keep it in your pocket, but not so small where you're gonna lose it. Um, you know, all that fun jazz. So my next layer on this, I already did the darker blue, and then I did a um, sky blue, and now I'm gonna do a light teal. And then after that dries tomorrow, I'm going to, um, put on the layer of sand that we got from, or that I got from our local beach that we went to all the time as children, and um, mix that in with the resin, lay that in there, and then sprinkle his ashes on top. And they just naturally kind of float to the bottom, so you don't even have to do a top coat on that. Um, the resin just kind of you know, the ashes sink and the resin comes up and it's nice and flat. Like on these right here, I, I did not put another coat on the back of that. That's just how it ended up, which is kind of perfect. And I'm just trying to get kind of the recipe of colors down pat um, in reference to you can, you know, you could see like just a little bit of blue, dark blue on this one at the bottom to where this one has like a lot. Cause I want to be able to see through the stone, but not all the way through. So I'm trying to get that perfect effect. Um, so that when I 
basically go into business doing this stuff um, for the public. I'm not experimenting with your loved ones. I'm already gonna know what I wanna do, how to do it, um, and offer, offer what I know how to do. So we don't wanna be, you know, I'm doing all my experimenting now. And um, so you guys are basically seeing me like from the beginning. You know, this is the beginning of my journey. So we're gonna do a little bit of that. And then, um, so the whole rest of this piece is going to be the clear with the sand and then the ashes on top. I'm really excited to see how these turn out. And it's like, they um, have enough dimension like the pattern it looks like you know like this part right here that it's going to come out to where it's a little sparkly when you move it but not so much to where you know my father or my brothers are gonna feel like it's too girly um i think it's a really good middle middle of the road shape um and again if you haven't watched the other video um the reason i'm I'm doing these it's not only just a keepsake for everyone to have um, we like to travel uh, not necessarily out of the country like some of us do um, but you know just driving my parents have an RV and they they drive to new destinations and um, my other brother lives in Texas you know and he goes back and forth and um, my other brother they go snowboard, snowboarding and hiking and um, all sorts of fun stuff. And, um, you know, we've traveled a bit as well. And it's just a lot easier to take one of these with you. Um, for one, if you lose one of these, it's not the end of the world. And it's not really, I don't think I'd look at it as losing it. I would look at it as just kind of you know, letting our little brother experience where we're at and what we're doing and, you know, he'll always be there. But um, if you were to bring the whole thing of ashes that you have and you lose it, I couldn't imagine the anxiety that I would have and how terrible I would feel probably for the rest of my life um, for many reasons. So, but to be able to have this, you know, whether you're uh, surfing, flying, driving, camping, fishing, whatever you're doing, to be able to have something like this, um, and you have them with you all the time. Of course you have them with you in your mind and in your heart and all of that, but um, it's just, to me, it's soothing to, to have a visual representation of the person that you love right there with you. Sorry if I faded out. I see a little hair that dropped in here to get my tweezers. And these are turning out just absolutely lovely. Okay, let me look around this side, see if I see any big bubbles. Oop, it's tilting. Okay, nope, that's good. And I have one more little project that I worked on for my husband. Um, he is a gamer, not professional, but really enjoys it. And he got the new Xbox. Hold on, I'm gonna go get it. He got the new Xbox Series X. So I made him this coaster, um, the little vinyl printed out. A little disappointed, there's a little bit of bubbles in there. There must've been some dust or something that settled, but um, I do wanna seal this in with a little coat of resin. So it doesn't go anywhere if he wants to use it as a coaster or what have you. But you can see with this, there's, I mean, there's barely any bubbles. This is again, the Art and Glow Casting and Coating <clears throat> Epoxy Resin. It is fairly expensive. I think it was um, $45 for two 16 ounce bottles that make a collective 32 ounces of product. 
Um, this doesn't sound too bad and it's not too terribly bad, but when you're just starting out and um, experimenting like I am, it's kind of expensive because you don't have uh, a clientele yet to purchase your items. And I just, like I said, I don't feel comfortable putting stuff up to sell if it's not to my standards. Um, and I have a couple things that, that I do really love, but they have a couple things wrong with them, so. Just practicing, getting my feet wet. You know, all that fun stuff. But I do hope that if you see this, you like it, you subscribe, you tell your friends, all that jazz, because that's how we get our name out. Look at that. Beautiful. I am pleased with that. All right. And that's it for today. I say that's it, I did several things, but I have fun, you know? You should enjoy doing art. It shouldn't be stressful. And of course it does come with a little bit of stress because hey, if you mess up, it's, you know, it's no one else's fault but your own, but. All right, make sure that's kind of level because it will move around, if not. Okay. Oh, and I see one hair in there. Make sure you get this stuff out before, because it will not come out after the fact. Oh, I see another one. Look at your pieces from all kinds of different angles, because that's when you're gonna actually see stuff. And I see a piece of glitter here from my mat. I need to wash this off with some soap and water. I've got a bunch of glitter stuck in there. All right. Until next time, guys. Have a great day. Bye.